Okay, so here we are at the other world, and now we will be going through some farming techniques. So this is at least the way that I always tend to set it up. These blocks here, so here, let me um come back here. Here, I'm just going to spawn it in. Iron. Iron. Warmed a water bucket. I will go through. Uh, I believe I showed you how to make... I believe... I believe I showed you how to make a hoe, which is simply that. Just two of these. I believe it can go in either direction. Maybe not. Maybe that's just me. Anyway, and how to make a bucket is just three iron like that. And then you get a bucket, and to pick up water, you just basically come over to water. A source block to be exact, so basically the smooth ones. Click it, and you have it. Now something else you can do with water. This may be a little advanced, I don't know. Do this with two blocks. You put one block here, one block here. And now, whenever you click from the middle, you have an infinite water supply. It's, I don't know, a glitch if you want to call it, but whatever. It gives you infinite water. Okay, and that will become very useful later. <laughs> Especially whenever you start to expand this, then you just basically, you put down more, grab some water, put it down. So, whenever it comes to making the water, or the tilled land wet, Water travels in two blocks every direction, so it creates a one, two, three, four, five by five square of completely fertile land. And what happens whenever see normally over here, it's not as it, it's a different color than that one, and easy to stomp out. Uh, I guess that one still is. See see how that one's a different color than those ones. That's because it's not as fertile. But, since it is close to the water, it slowly will become more. Okay, so now let's place this like these, and these should actually start to grow. Now let's come over here and get more. Yeah, basically to get seeds, you just break this, and they will drop. Okay, there we go. Did we get very... Okay, we got four. I guess that's good. So let us come back here and let me show you something. Oh yeah, okay. So basically, if you want to grow stuff the fastest, it grows the fastest. The crops grow the fastest whenever they're surrounded by completely by tilled and fertile land. This means that whenever you fill this entire thing up, this means that these are not going to grow as fast as ones. Like, if you only put one in here, but it is, this is definitely a lot more space, like, safe, I guess. And a lot easier to use. So generally, it, it doesn't even take that long whenever you put them in like this for them to grow. So generally, I just do this. Now, let's go through, get more seeds. Wow, I got two there. I got five now. Okay, I guess that's luck. So basically, one thing about Minecraft is that makes it a lot easier, unless you have this, but I, I know most of the crafting recipes by heart, is you get, once you learn all the crafting recipes, Minecraft gets a lot easier, and a lot more fun. Because then you don't really have to like look them up or anything. You don't have to think. You just walk up to a crafting table. And then just put whatever you want in. And then you can slide. So like um, if you right click and slide. Then that puts one block down of each. Er, in every block you go over. If you left click. It puts down all the blocks you have. And evenly disperses them through. Something cool you can do with that. Here we have flowers. Ah, uh, flowers. Okay, and now there is a pig on top of my watermelon making machine. Just to show you something. Here, let's go down here and see how much watermelon I have. Okay. 
that's right, there should be. Okay. Oh, and the one jerk part. So I'll get into how that works later. Just wanted to go and check it out. <sighs> so basically, you also have other things that you can grow. Generally, though, the only way to really find them is either through a very lucky mob drop. So sometimes zombies trap them. We will get into that later. Just to let you know, you may want to start off playing on peaceful. That's what I'm on right now. Just so there's not zombies everywhere. I'm recording and other annoying mobs like slimes. So basically, if you do find them, though, you can take the potatoes. There's also wheat, which is what those seeds we planted will turn into. And we also have some uh, carrots. That's basically all that villages tend to carry. Well, I want to check out something because I'm still doing I'm in the middle of an experiment. No. I don't know if they mine. I know they do in 1. Point, or not mine. Farm. I know they will in 1.8, but I just wanted to check. Okay, so basically whenever you find those, you can come over here. And then you just basically right click on the ground to put them in. And you just let them grow. See how? And they get taller and taller. Then you can put carrots in. Just a normal carrot, no seeds. Watermelons, however. Watermelons and pump pumpkins do have seeds, though. Like this. And then you... Oh, yeah, and also pigs. Pigs like carrots. Cows and sheep like wheat. And I don't think anything likes potatoes, to be honest, but anyway. Except potatoes are useful whenever you cook them. See? 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 He's like, you took away the carrot. I just wanted a carrot. I feel so bad for the poor little piggy. Anyway, then you get back to uh, placing down this, and eventually, because each time you break it, each time you break one of these, you generally get two... One to three seeds, I believe. And once, um... Once potatoes and carrots grow, whenever you break them, you get, like, two to three or something. So you gen you always make more, and you can always expand your farm. Like that. Here. So now, since one thing I don't have are melon seeds. Melon seeds... I think melons now spawn naturally. I know pumpkins always have, but I think melons do now. So whenever you find a pumpkin or a melon, you just put it into here, and then you get melon seeds. Pumpkins and melons work pretty similarly to these, but they're a little easier to grow. Kind of, I guess, if you want to say that. Here, so let me expand these out like this going by my rule right here should be another water block and you fill this in like this I think however okay so melon yeah I'll do it like this oh I'm missing one oh well okay so now that we have this these will all grow in either this direction this one will only be able to grow in this direction this one will only be able to grow in this direction so they will either decide to grow here or in this direction but they will only grow in an area with an open or here let me stomp this one down stomp the land down this way that they will plant they I, I think they plant on tilled land anyway but just stomp on it there we go so now these should start growing on there once these stems grow up. But the stems never actually get destroyed, so they, they, it's just sort of constant production. <sighs> something you can do, though, is get something called bone meal. You get bone meal by killing... So you get a bone. Sometimes you get bones whenever um, you kill skeletons. We will get into mobs a little later, though. I just want to show you this. And whenever you get bones, you put them in a crafting table, or even just this one will work. And you run up to whatever you want to grow. I'm going to be doing it on these because I want to be making melons faster. And right-click, they will grow. Oh, 
like this. And I ran out. But that's okay. We're, we'll, we will at least be making some melons. You can also use it on these, and these will grow if you want to speed up this. But only, you can only use them on one plant at a time. And it doesn't instantly grow it. <gasps> yep. Then, now, we have another thing which we can farm. Well, I mean, you can also farm animals. I'm not going to go into animals yet, though. You have something else you can farm, and that is this thing called sugarcane. Basically, just walk through, do this, destroy them. You find these naturally spawning next to water. Sometimes they can be a pain to find, other times you find them right off the bat. And you get a ton of these. A ton. You can make, like this farm, I guarantee you, by the third episode or something, this entire farm here is going to be full. And I lost one of these for some reason. Oh well, I'll put another lily pad in there later. So basically just start expanding these down in this direction like such. And I'm basically just going to fill up this entire lane most likely. No, I'm still going to have more left over. So... And I come over here, and then I'll start filling up this one. The, for this, you get in a crafting table, you get sugar. So here, let me here, let me grab one of these and show you everything you can use them for. Oh, oh, I still have more. <laughs> oh gosh. Anyway, so usages: you can make paper by putting three in a row. You can make sugar by putting just one. That's about it. But sugar. You can use with milk, which you need cows to get milk. I'll go through most of these later. Wheat and an egg. Or you can make pumpkin pies. Or you can make a fermented spider egg. That's This is really starting to get advanced. We'll get into a lot of this later, don't worry. Minecraft is a pretty large game. There's going to be quite a few episodes of this. My guess is this isn't even going to be... This is probably going to be a few episodes. That's okay. What? Okay, here. Let, let me put in some of these because it's starting to get annoying. Do these disappear after a while? I'm confused. Anyway. There we go. Oh, I know they break whenever something hits them, so I guess it's possible. So now I will get into mob farming.